people of Fubar Banana Boss here with another Scratch tutorial and today I am teaching you how to create a calculator in Scratch. So I've already started off by making a few sprites. At the moment they don't have any coding and I am going to show you how to code all of these sprites. So first of all you want to get your sprite which will be talking and everything. It 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 doesn't have to be the cat, of course. Then you can create your certain buttons, of course. It doesn't have to say the word. It can just be an X, a subtract, a slash, or divide, or whatever. Or a plus. So, I'm going to show you how to do all of this. So, what we want to do is when start is clicked, you want to introduce it. You don't have to do this, but you can. So, I'm going to do it just because I'm going to try to do everything I say about so let's make it say hello and welcome to cal calculator v1 by Jude Lawrence aka banana boss it will say that for seven seconds and we want to create a variable called um, Uh, calculator enabled and question mark at the end so that will um, know so if calculator enabled is zero it won't work so let's make it so that at the beginning it will set calculator enabled to zero then after it says that it will set it to one and then what we want to do is put up a little thing for each of these so we want when this right clicked, if calculator enabled equals 1, so we want to do this for all of them, so it will broadcast whatever one it is. So this one is multiplication, so it will broadcast multiply. And then we will duplicate this and put them onto each other sprite. So <clears throat> so we want to set that set that to one set that to one but of course we need to change the broadcast so set that to one and finally set that to one but we don't want all of them to broadcast multiply so we want to change each one to its different thing so let's make this one divide this one add and finally this one will be subtract and we don't really want message one anymore so we can just okay don't worry about it we'll just keep it so now if calculator enabled equals one then it will broadcast it so now what we want to do is when i receive so we will need four of these when I receive, when I receive, when I receive, when I receive, and each one of them will ask something. So each one will ask, what's the first number you'd like to add? What's the second number you'd like to add? And so on. So ask, and again, ask. So now, when I receive add, ask, what is the first number you'd like to put into the addition so you don't have to do something as long as that but I feel like it because I can so yeah we want each one of them quite far apart though so that it has enough space to do it so yeah <clears throat> let's just make sure that there is a lot of space so that it can do everything so if you can hear talking in the background, just making sure that you can't, but you probably can. So, what it will do, so we need to create two new variables. We want to make A and B. You can also call it number one, number two, or any other thing, because these are going to be the two numbers that the answer of these are stored in. So, what we want to do is set A to answer and then we want to ask another question which will be 
what's the second number you'd like to put into the addition and wait and it will set B to answer so let's just test that that works so let me show A B and calculator enabled so start calculator until you're enabled to zero let's try to click on addition nothing it doesn't work so now try what's what is the first number you'd like to put into addition 10 yep that works 10 okay it works and why does it ask what's your name but oh well so stop and we want and then what we want to do you don't have to do this but you can it will think processing calculation for let's say point seven five seconds and then it will say another thing and you will need operators here so it will join 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 so it will say a plus B and we need another join equals and then we need this so we we'll need another operator which will be A plus B so what that means is that it will say the first uh, the first number you gave and then the second number and then plus and then the second number you gave and they will say equals and then it will give the answer to A plus B so that's how you do that and then it will say no, no it won't say actually and then let's um, duplicate that and put it over here but let's change that to multiplication let's actually let's say sum no Multi multiplication. Wait, why does it ask what's your name? That I, I'm not sure why, but anyway. And then this time it will say a times a times. I'm doing an x by the only of an asterisk because people usually more understand it being an x instead of an asterisk but encoding it's actually an asterisk just in case if you didn't know just making sure just to make sure that people do understand it all so let's just do this all right so a times by b equals and then operator times by a times by b so we will change that to multiply and then we want to duplicate that put it onto there let's make this one divide just because we can why is it asking what's your name i have no idea still but sure what is the first number you'd like to put into the division So, A divided by B equals A divided by B, of course. A divided by B. Now, I don't, I'm not sure if it gives remainders, but I don't think it does. So, that I'm just letting you know. Because calculators, as you may know, they don't give you remainders. I see why it says what's your name. Okay, it all makes sense now. And then we finally want to have subtract and then multiply that. No, divide that one as in multiply. Eh. Into the subtraction. Wait. Subtraction. And wait. And then we need to change that, of course, of course to a subtract sign. And then something. Take away something. 
So it will be A take away B. So now we have our calculator. So let's test if it works. Start. Hello and welcome to Calculator V1 by Jude Lawrence, aka Banana Boss. Alright, so addition. What's the first number you like to put into addition? Let's say 100. 100. Processing calculation 100 plus 100 equals 200. Subtract. What's the first number you like to put into the subtraction? 150. Processing calculation. Yes, that works. Division. What's the first number you like to put into division? 10. 5. Person calculation 10 divided by 5 equals 2, correct. Multiplication 10, 2. Person calculation 10 times by 2 equals 20. So, this is how you create a calculator. I'll put the link to my um, Scratch account in the description below so you guys can check this out, remix it, do whatever you want. Next time, um, I'll hopefully be doing another tutorial on calculator, but I might be able to show you how to actually create it so that if you press a number it goes into the calculation but I can't promise you because I probably can't do that next time because I need to do something else but yeah guys I'll see you next time please like comment favorite and even subscribe it means so much to me and keeps me making videos I'll see you next time and yeah goodbye banana boss out